Hey guys, how do you? It's the first basic sorgonomics of the week, and it was uh, an interesting Monday to say the least. A lot going on. Hope you guys had fun with the Instagrams and videos I've been putting out there uh, on the tweeters as well. Um, but uh, no, it was a it was kind of a tough Monday. It was honestly kind of a tough Monday. Uh, and uh, there, this is a show again. This is you know I know I talk about tech, I talk about the podcasting, I talk about you know get a little bit technical on here, but it is also hey it's a video blog and it's, it's kind of what uh, stuff we get to, and uh, and I think the role of today is damn it's hard, um, damn it's hard doing a creative thing, doing a, a something that's not uh, it's it's hard to do anything, but um, especially something where it's kind of very much performance based or. Or uh, you find yourself in some interesting situations over 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 your days, um, and uh, and this was a challenge. And uh, I think uh, we we talked about this on uh, uh, <laughs> Power Hour, which will get up, I swear, any minute now uh, as as I'm pr- broadcasting this, but uh, recording this. But uh, but that's exactly the kind of thing. Uh, I I don't know. I, this is going to turn into I'm going to complain about everything Facebook posts, I guess. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, kind of that run of uh, a power supply went on me for my MacBook. Well, there goes everything I was working on last night to try to get ahead for the week. Uh, and then I get into work today. The 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 Monday client that I drive an hour away for to find out there is no internet in my office. Now, in the other office, there is, but unfortunately, that roasts me into a lot of other interesting, interesting things. And uh, really, I think I got done about a quarter of what I usually do on my Monday, uh, thanks to the uh, hardware issues that were going on and, and stuff outside of my power, of course. And uh, and, and doing something interesting and, and doing one of those things where uh, we, we record something extra and then something went wrong and it poof, poof disappeared disappeared uh no we had a we had a fun thing we we had one of those one of those it was it was it was lightning in a bottle really uh where there was so much we had uh a laughter expert and we had a a a, a music expert that uh that that i've been trying to catch up with for a little bit now and they were in for a meeting and i happened to be over there because of course uh, there was no internet in my office so i was like oh and they, i guess I'll, I'll i'll be in here and, and oh we're having a meeting today okay uh and because i become kind of a roamer here on 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 these days if uh, if i can't work in the office on, on the on, on the mac they provide me and of course my computer is a little underpowered to do a whole lot when it comes to the video and Dealing with other internet issues and stuff. Hey, it happens. That's fine. It happens. It works around it. I got probably more done than uh, I typically would have being handcuffed uh, w- with an issue like this. And it, it just it happens. Uh, but this perfect storm and and there's pictures. I, I, I tweeted some of the pictures today. Uh, I was periscoping. And I actually do have about three three and a half minutes of this conversation. Uh, unfortunately, just in Periscope form, so it's not anything I can really use for marketing materials or anything. Uh, but we had we uh, the idea was uh, that this lady brought in was uh, laughter, and she always has clown noses. And you see, I had a lot of fun with that. If you follow me on on social media and uh, and and bubbles and everything, so I was like, okay, you guys sit down, you guys talk about this event coming up in October. Just give me five minutes. The one the one lady had to absolutely had to leave in about under 10 minutes. And I, I set up everything for the podcast we were doing anyways. And, and, and I don't know if you've seen the setup. We have three big lights and then we have a snowball microphone and a, and a Logitech uh, C, C920. Um, yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, you know how weird that sounds. That, that's a whole other thing. Um, but all set up, all ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. We bang it out. We got so they have these PA students there ton of them right now so it was like okay you guys stand here here and here and just blow bubbles into the scene and there's bubbles flowing around and in front of the lens as they're talking and and they're reacting to that and we got an awesome awesome seven minutes awesome there are two guests leave and we're setting up or we're waiting for that and and our host for the regular podcast goes to grab some stuff uh the props for that which he's doing awesome stuff with props since it's a video podcast first uh on youtube and and we're having a lot of fun with the students and getting like genuine reactions out of them and i really love what we're doing with this um and i'm saving it i'm saving it to the drive and uh I don't see uh, if you guys. So we're recording with QuickTime X, 
And QuickTime X, you know, it's there. It's kind of in this temporary spot whenever you're viewing it until you save it out. And I'm saving it out as a 1080 file. So it does this whole compression thing and everything and got your little export window. And I saw that it stopped. And, um, and, uh, what I didn't notice was, okay, it looks like it went through its thing, but I didn't realize in that window, under the thing that looked normal, that looks like every time that I do this, when I've done this for wrestling shows, when I do this every week, every Monday we do this, other projects when I'm I'm capturing a camera directly to the computer and we save things out, Sawtooth Willie, client projects, interviews, all kinds of stuff like that, and it looks just like that, right? And I'm like, cool, we got that. Click it, exit, uh, don't save, delete, we're good. Uh, clear it out of the cache so we have plenty of room for the next video. Okay, we're done. And then I looked down and I was like, wait, that says something different. An error occurred. The file didn't save. And I've already closed the file. And there's an interesting thing that happens in QuickTime. If you crash, that file will come back. If, if something happens, if you freeze, if, if QuickTime crashes, whatever you capture typically comes back. It's in a temporary file somewhere. And it pops that back up if you reopen QuickTime or you have to restart or something like that. It's still there. But if you got that dialog box and it said quit and delete, it's gone, man. It's gone. Uh, and we're setting up for the next one. I had to inform them. Uh, hey, that thing, that awesome thing we just did. Gone. And unfortunately, not a lot of I mean, this has happened before in some respect. We didn't hit record because again, juggling a lot of stuff. Oh, my dog's down here. How did that happen? I thought I had a gate up for that. Um and uh and it happens, it happens every time. This is why I'm very much you know believing in redundancies to a point I kind of have a redundancy because I do a periscope typically. Uh, during this, but I didn't have it set up since we were just doing a quick thing. I didn't get to go through all the processes in advance, and obviously in post, I missed a, I missed a step in there as well, and 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 uh, and that's what happened. So now I find myself in this interesting situation. Well, first of all, this is a thing that happens, and I, I've talked to some people about this before. Maybe I need to see a shrink. I don't know, but I often have nightmares about being at typically one of the wrestling shows where we have a lot of setup, a lot of stuff that go, go wrong. And I have just, just redundancies on redundancies, right? Like tapes in the cameras, uh, if we can. Tape it, it, it's recording at one point after I switch it and to the computer in case something happens to the computer or something happens to the tape, to be honest. And stuff has happened along the way. There's stuff that's happened that if I was depending on, say, just that computer the one time or just the tape one time, something would have happened where... Um, I would have lost half a show, to be honest, or I would be drawing from those other tapes or something along those lines. Um, and it gets really interesting, doesn't it, <laughs> at that point? Uh, and, and, and I've worked a lot to make sure that doesn't happen, even down here in the studio. We're shooting the video. We're recording it. It's also shipping to YouTube that's getting recorded there, lower quality, of course, but it's still very, very usable. And there's an audio feed over here. So if anything happens at any of those points, I still have part of the show at whatever point that is. And I can work with that and massage that and maybe at least not have lost that content. If not in the format that I desired, ideally, at least that content has been, has been, has been retained, right? So it's a very interesting, interesting situation. I mean, not a big deal. It was a quick thing. It wasn't a planned thing. It's not like these people came in specifically to do this thing. Um, it's one of those things that would have been nice if we had it. And again, it just came off so nice. Um, and it is, it is a shame. And I, and I kick myself so much all afternoon. And there's other things that have happened, and, and it's been a very, I say, a very interesting day in general. It definitely seemed to be the vibe of this Monday. I'm trying not to get it down. I'm trying to wear my clown nose. Where do I have that down here? Uh, I'm trying to wear my clown nose as I'm driving home and everything, and uh, just uh, I don't know. See see what happens, you know. Uh, but uh, that's one of those things. Um, there's uh, actually a recent email by uh, the awesome. I don't know. Do we call him a guru? I don't know. I don't know what we call him. Coach, whatever he is, Chris Brogan. Uh, that was just out here for PodCamp Pittsburgh, a long time. Pod camp, can't call him a pod camp friend, I guess. Um, 
but uh, says, you know, was talking about failing. I've been hearing a lot of fail. I think I think he he was in a recent interview saying, you know, fail a lot. That's 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 the answer. Fail a lot. Give yourself opportunity to fail a lot. And uh, we have definitely failed a whole bunch around here. And that was uh, one of the big ones today. And I think the 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 big thing and why they say that is that's a new wrinkle. It's like, but that didn't work. And now that's another thing in the back of your head. And uh, uh, not to add to the anxiety or anything, but add to the lesson of what what do I need to do to make sure that thing doesn't happen again? That's how you learn. The reason I like switching for pro wrestling because I switched in high school and I've learned the mistakes in that environment in a newscast environment. And and several years later, I could I could return to something like that, and I do switching every Tuesday night or right here if I have something interesting on this show, uh, and I do it on a regular basis. It's that time. It's that it's that uh, ten thousand hours to become the expert. Uh, I hope I'm close to the ten thousand hours of of some something podcasting. I'm. I might be. I should add up the hours of podcasting. That would be really curious to do. Uh, Or video production or something. You know, we're doing a lot. We're building it. And uh, and that's going to be one of those things. And I'm probably going to remember for a long time that time we had this great thing with bubbles and clown noses. And all I got were pictures in a periscope. Figure out what to do with it. There could be some marketing materials in there. We'll see. Hit me up. At Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sign up for the newsletter over there at sorgatron.com. Um, I'm going to be a lot of podcasting-minded stuff, I think, in the in the coming weeks. We have a Lunch and Learn coming on. Um, so I, I kind of want to get that vibe as we're leading into that. We're going to be talking about specifically microphones, technology, uh, mixing boards, kind of familiarize you so you're not hopefully as scared going into putting together your mini or maxi studio uh, if you have a big podcasting project, if you, especially if you have a little bit of money behind it, or if you don't have money behind it and you want to know, well, why, what is the difference if I get this $50, uh, USB mic versus a, a $400 Shure or, or, or geez, what was a Heil or something like that? I don't, I don't even know. Um, but, uh, whatever, whatever that case may be. Uh, but we're going to dive into that. We're going to be uh, talking about a lot of that stuff. You can find out information for that over at Sorgatron.com or look up the Lunch and Learn Nuts and Bolts that I'll be doing over on EventBright.com, Meetup.com. Um, I can't remember what we set up the Meetup after. Uh, I'll have more information of that throughout the week. But thank you so much, everybody that listens to this show. Uh, I really do appreciate that this has turned into something that's worth me doing every day. Um, not that it's not for my own mindset as, as today was a lot of breakdown of things on my mind. And I hope that helps you too. in the things that you, um, go through from day to day. And, uh, and I don't know. And I hope, I hope that it's helping you, uh, make really cool stuff as I'm endeavoring to make really cool stuff over here. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.